Hello everybody, my name is Yuri and I'm with Funnel Insiders. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take a dynamic creative or dynamic ad set and turn it into a static creative. The purpose of that is in case you want to duplicate your campaign to scale, uh, you add additional budget, you want to duplicate that campaign, but you also want to keep your social engagement, your likes, shares, and comments across your ad. You don't want to lose that data and by duplicating a dynamic creative, you'll reset all that data and the testing phase will have to reset. So I want to take my best performing ad from a dynamic creative ad set and take that and put it into a brand new campaign and scale with it. How do I do that? So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. Uh, we're going to first make sure we break down by image, video, and slideshow and by text. Now for the purpose of example, I already know the winning ad set. And I know the rather I already know the winning ad. So I'm not going to go ahead and show you exactly which one it is. But you want to make sure that this data, this image, and the text match the data on the next screen. Now the data on the next screen is sorted by engagement. Usually the most engaged ad is your winner. Not always. Sometimes you have a better CPM and sometimes you have a better lead price on the lower engaged ads. In this case, the best performing ad set. Uh, rather ad based on uh, your engagement is also the one that's producing the results. So how do we do this? We're going to click on this ad set and before I continue I do want to make sure that I'm showing you that this is indeed a dynamic creative. You can see that right there. It says dynamic creative on. Okay. And we're going to click on the ad set. We're going to click on preview. Now we're going to click on add preview with this drop down and we're going to see the Facebook post with comments. I already have this pulled up. I've hidden the client details, so you don't see you won't see who it's for. Nonetheless, when you're gonna you're gonna see your page title and image here, and you're going to see a date here. You're gonna want to click on this date. Now you can see the URL. I've already done that, so you can see in the URL. Here is the actual ID of the post. Copy this, place it into a notepad, or save it for later. This is what we want. We want this ID. Okay, now we're going to go back in a uh, different creative. Now I'm going to show you this that I've already done this. Like I said, I've already uh, hidden all the necessary details here so you can't see who the client is. But regardless, once you have this, and I already have this pulled up, we have a, we have a brand new campaign here with a test. Uh, the ad is called test. Now it's a static ad. This is not a dynamic ad set. Again, not a dynamic ad set. We're going to go in the ad level and we're going to use an existing post. We're going to enter the post ID here that we pulled from that URL, submit it, and then boom, it's going to pull in the exact uh, content and copy that was relevant for the uh, winning ad. That's how you take your dynamic ad and you turn it into a static ad. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel like my videos and comment on the video if you have questions or you want additional help with your Facebook ads. Have a great day. Thanks.